Hello everybody, I'm back with another um, page of my scrap file. Um, previous video, if you saw it, you saw me complete the front cover. Um, so now we are going to this page right here. And um, I'm going to add a little bit of doodling to the edges of this light blue right here. And I'm just going to kind of make a rough line. Nothing too uh, precise. Just keeping it doodly and fun. And I'm just using a jelly roll pen by Sakura. And then, you know, I like to go over it again. And again, not too worried about it being straight or exact or anything like that. One more. So I like to do three. And one more up here. Okay. All right. Now, <clears throat> first of all, I made a flag with a, this was basically a length of paper. I folded it in half and there are some, it's double, okay, so I can kind of crinkle this up if I want to and just kind of expose what's underneath. And we're going to put this right here. So the way I'm going to do that is put my score tape because one thing you want to keep in mind about this kind of file thing is this is not under a page protector it's exposed completely exposed so um, people are gonna touch it and and all of that and so whatever adhesive you use you want to use something very very aggressive and strong just to make sure that it stands up to all of the abuse it's going to get or I guess all the attention it's going to get is a better word now I want this to be here because this is where we're folding so I want to make sure that that can be folded Okay, so there's my banner. Then these are all going to be soccer pictures. So I'm going to add, oh man, I wanted to do, boy, Let's see, I should have made a sketch. Okay, I don't know if I can pull this up. I'm going to have to put something there because it ripped. Oh. I really wanted this piece of paper to go this way, like that. And it is very plain. I didn't do anything to this paper. So I may add some, some kind of something to it. And then I need my scissor because I did rip up some paper here. So I'm gonna cut that off. Cut that off. Okay, better.
And what I may do for pattern is just take a little stamp that I got from Robin and just maybe do like some Versamark or something there. But I'm not sure yet. Okay. Now my grounding pieces. I've got some strips here of just scraps. And here are my photos. This is a soccer soccer layout. This is Adrian's second year of soccer. He actually did soccer when he was three. No, this was his second season of soccer. That's what it was. I want that on the fold, so... like that. That's not how I had it the first time though. I really had, I really had it kind of how I wanted it. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, so then my grounding piece is going to go here and I want it to go behind the picture. And then come out at the other side just to give your eye that illusion that it's coming out from there. Just kind of do some layering here. Like that. Give this a little Today I cleaned out my garage, not completely, but I dealt with this, the, the predominant, I mean, amount of mess I had was boxes from Christmas and just things. I've just been throwing them out there because it's just the easiest thing to do sometimes. So I tackled that. Alright, and then this one's going to go here. And I'm going to leave this one maybe I'll go up here with this one.
kills me. I got my ink cartridge and paper for my printer, but I don't have my printer yet. So that is just cruel. <laughs> just cruel. I just want to get get it and play with it already and gotta be patient. That's hard sometimes. Okay, so there we go. So we've got our grounding kind of border here going on. And then I have this little piece, which I can't remember if I was going to put that there. So let's just hold on with that. And then I have this piece, which is going to go behind here, like this. Although, see, that doesn't make any sense. Why did I do that? <coughs> That's not how I had it, because I wouldn't put that red there. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's do it anyway. It's okay. So I kind of need that piece there. So I'm going to make it into a, like a little tag-looking thing. Let's use that photo. I'll move this down here because that would fix that problem when I ripped it. So we're going to have to embellish that. I'll just put something over it to mask my boo boo. First time I did it. I don't know what I did it. I don't want to cover Daniel's face. That's Daniel right there. Okay, I wanted this one to kind of look like washi tape. Like it's taped on there. And then I made a few little embellishments. So I think and put that there. So I think I had it through here like that. And then I had another one somewhere. It is. I think this one was over here somewhere. Oh, because I have a journaling note here. this little element here. Cut that like that. And there 
there's another little element somewhere around here. Ah, fell on the floor. Okay, oops. Something like that. So there you see um, my triangle. I guess that's where that was. So I'm going to do my journaling here. And um, I spritzed this a little bit with the fireworks. Probably can't tell. And this one I made. I made, I, I used the Fabulous Finds and the Accent Essentials old Cricut cartridges. And I just made all of these. And this was just some little tinsely thing that my sister gave me on a gift. And I want the roll of it. I told her, did that come in a roll? Because I absolutely loved it. So, something like that. And then, um, this was a stamp. And again, this was from Fabulous Finds. And, oh, I did remember something. Oh, here, I think maybe... This is going to go there to tie in the yellow. Maybe we'll put some we can cut off a little bit here. A little bit here to make it go across and then just the slightest little piece up there. Something like this. Let's lift this up because this little clip is supposed to be right there. And that's also from Fabulous Finds. And then we'll just take that and kind of have it coming out like that. And that way we're repeating our yellow, we're repeating our blue, and this is yellow. So, I love it, and I think I'm going to leave the rest of it pretty much blank like that. I might put, maybe I'll put the date or something like that with one of my Heidi Swap calendar uh, or months of the year stamp. I'll just put that there and just say um, maybe April or something like that. I think this was definitely spring soccer. So thanks again. Thanks for watching and have a great time scrapping. Bye.